In this practical math video, let's learn how to solve ratio and proportion word problems. Here's the ratio and proportion question that we're going to solve. There were 56 children at a birthday party. This is the total number of children who were at the birthday party. Then, we are given a ratio. We know that the ratio of the number of girls to the number of boys at the party was 3 to 1. Do you know what this means? This means that for every three girls that were at the party, there was one boy. Let's represent this with a bar model. Here are three units to represent the number of girls and one unit to represent the number of boys. Great! Since we already know the total number of children at the party, let's put that in our model as well. Now let's read the question and see what we need to solve. How many girls were there at the party? To find how many girls there were, let's see what we can tell from our model. Looking at this beautiful model, we can tell that four units represent a total of 56 children. And which part of our model represents the number of girls at the party? If you said these three units, you're right. So how can we make use of what we know to find our answer? Well, we can do this in two steps. First, we're going to find out how many children one unit represents. Once we know that, it's going to be really easy to find the number of children that three units represent. Let's solve this together. When we divide 56 by 4, we get 14. And if one unit represents 14 children, we can find how many children three units represent by multiplying 14 by 3. Did you get 42? There were 42 girls at the party. Did you find this ratio and proportion word problem easy to solve? Let us know in the comments below.